everyone. I'm back again. I'm Miss Hope, and I have here with me Mika and all of our woodland friends and dragons. And today we are going to read about the marvelous mustard seed. Oh, I think Mika found a surprise. Good girl. There we go. Okay, so our story tonight is the marvelous mustard seed. A child plants a mustard seed in an empty garden. It is an itty bitty seed. It isn't anything very special yet. See, I'm planting the mustard seed. Mustard seeds are so small that you have to look hard to see them. You have to look so hard to see them that you need to get really close. You're looking at it with a magnifying glass. It's down here. It's itty bitty. There is not much to be done with a single teeny weeny seed. You can't eat it. You can't take it for a walk. Or wear it. Or cuddle with it. You can't write or blow bubbles with it. The only thing you can do is plant it in the soil by planting it. And the rain falls and the sun shines and things begin to happen in the earth. There's our seed. Looks like something's happening to it. But no matter how hard you look, or how close you get, you can't see the tiny seed. Where'd it go? It's not here. The seed is hidden, down with the moles, down, down with the ants. Down, down, down. Down with the earthworms. Where's our little seed? It's all the way down here. What could those be? Then it happens. In the place of the tiny little bitty seed, up comes a shoot. You see that? That's the shoot. Up, up comes a sprout. There it is, the sprout. And up, up, up comes a bush. Look, it's getting so much bigger. But it doesn't stop there. It grows, and it grows, and it grows. Look how big it's getting. until it becomes a humongous tree. Look how big that is. Birds make their nests there. The neighbors exclaim, a mustard tree, amazing. Birds resting there, surprising. People enjoying its shade? Unbelievable! Acorns grow into big oak trees. Cedars have trunks that you can't fit your arms around. Look how big that tree trunk is. Mustard plants are just ordinary bushes. Not this one. This one's a mustard tree. You don't have to look hard or get really close to see it. It's right in front of you. Look at that big tree. Some people touch it to make sure it's real. Others sit under its branches. 
They take the pods from the tree and remove the seeds and make spices. I'm making spices. They take the mustard leaves and the seeds and make medicine. There's a doctor and she's making medicine. The spices and the medicine are there for everyone. The kingdom of God is like a mustard seed in the garden, right outside our windows. Growing from itsy bitsy teeny to colossal, from impossible to see to unable to miss. The tree is so gigantic, it's a wonder. It is not all what we expect to find, and yet there it is, surprising us, helping us to imagine what can be. But is it yet? The end. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the story as much as I did. Hey, Mika. Oh, I think she's tired tonight, guys. Bye.